Hi, my name's Lisa and I work for the Addiction Hair Salon in Watford. I'm the master hair designer and the in-salon educator for the group. Today I'm going to be taking you through a series of videos that include hair care tips, styling product knowledge and how to use certain hair equipment. On this video I'm going to be showing you how to use a waving iron. Um, it's a very simple technique, very easy piece of equipment to use. Um, all you're going to be needing is your waving iron, which looks like one huge crimping iron and just a little bit of product. Um, the product that I'm going to be using is Reckon Iron Silk. Um, again, it's just an easy product um, to use, nice and flexible, nice and soft. Um, I've pre-sectioned the hair already. Um, with these um, types of equipment, it is better to use bigger sections only because it can get very built up and very big hair if you uh, don't take the sections big enough. So, um, one section of hair, I'm just going to spray from roots tip, just a little bit of heat protection spray. Um, I'm just going to show you on a smaller section of hair first of all, um, just so it's easy for you to kind of see the technique you need to be working with. Okay, you're going to place the iron into the hair and clamp down, just leave in for a few seconds. If you see any smoke or anything come up from the product, all it is is just the product drying into the hair. Obviously, and then just try and fit in to the gaps of the section you've worked in before, all the way down the hair. And just keep working, just until you run out of hair at the end only needs to be in the hair for a few seconds because these do tend to get really hot really quickly and don't really want to cause any more damage than you, than you really need to. So just keep working through. Obviously if your hair is quite resistant and quite easy you know, for the style to drop out, then just leave it in just a couple seconds more. There you go, you can see that there. Obviously on that one I've gone with the iron and above, you can go in this way as well because it just stops it looking too exact. You want it to be looking quite sort of, when you're going for a wave look, quite a natural look. So I'm going to go in through the other way this time. So obviously now you've got your wavy hair through there. I personally would run my fingers through it just to kind of break up the sections just so it doesn't look too exact. Um, finishing wise, I would just use a little bit of a flexible hairspray. It's just Red King Quick Dry. It, all it does, it just gives you the hold without being sticky and, and hard. Again, run your fingers through it. And obviously, there you go. And that is how you wave hair using a waving iron.